got a great ass. Oh my god. There was I, there I was one time I dropped back. There was one time I dropped an infernal and because it crit, you just saw the infernal spawn is that's a huge bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Oh my god. Uh there was also one there was a time and I I told Rena about this because the Latrice sound was her request was uh I had that's a lot of nuts and then the next crit sound that pulled was get those nuts away from my face amazing yeah it was beautiful like my game just sounded like that's a lot of nuts <laughs> get those nuts away from my face <laughs> What about oh, that one had to be taken out because that was like a seven second clip. Too oh. long. And it because it would trigger and it was all basic like it was all basic speech, it garbled everything. And you just couldn't go you couldn't do anything with it. Whoa. Nice cock. <laughs> oh god, that's <laughs> I, I love that one. That's a great one. Oh man, I bet you I could get some sound clips from Orgasmo. That would be a fun movie to clip. Yes. Oh god. Thank you, thank you, Sindri, for agreeing. Do, do, do you have a a copy of that? Wow. wow. Absolutely, dude. I have it on DVD somewhere, man. That was. Oh god, that was such a great um, one from. I have now corrupted everyone in here with the knowledge that the soundboard exists. <laughs> Uh, thank you. I did get a notification in my uh, uh, system log in Discord that I was getting a soundboard, and I was like, hmm, I wonder when that's going live. <laughs> Turns out... I'm worthy. <laughs> God fucking damn. <laughs> Great. Welcome to the Arctis r r r Radio Show. <laughs> Are you streaming all this? I am now. So all this yeah. stuff you were doing? No, I only started about um, two <laughs> minutes and 26 seconds ago. Mm. Roll call, where's the druid? <laughs> <laughs> now, Corrupted keeps uh, sending me the new ones that he makes, dude, that are really awesome. They are. That man has single-handedly created the cacophony, and I cannot appreciate him enough. Yeah, I need to send him one for me. I just haven't seen him on yet. <laughs> that man is very unusual. Yes, he is. I, I think I need to meet this man. He's in our guild. He is, uh. I he's a very, myself. very nice gentleman. I appreciate him. Are you guys ready to hit it hard once the, the patch hits? Farm all your uh, dragon yeah. rocks? Oh, we're, we're going in <laughs> blind. I can't wait. Ooh, fun. Yeah, it's bold strategy, Cotton. See how it pays off. How are you guys going to uh, approach raiding next patch? Uh, I defer you to my raid leaders. Both are present. Then into heroic. Yeah. That's right. it? That's the plan? Normal, yeah. then heroic? All right, easy yeah. enough. There's a, a plan has been constructed. Oh. Um, <laughs> there is discussion that some people don't know the difference between plans and objectives, so we just kind of let the objectives stand, and people think that's the plan. Oh, exactly. we're going there, <laughs> kill the bosses, move along. Good objective. <laughs> you got. You got to show. You got to show normal. It. Uh, you're. You're too strong for it, and just go right into heroic. Just yolo it. Yeah, just. 30 item no, levels not. under the requirement. Just, we're not, we're not a mythic guild like you guys. It's not what we want to do. We don't, we're so. not mythic geared like that either. So Yeah, we don't want to do that. There's a reason we left syndicated. I'm sure. also retarded. That probably helps. Are you guys going to do mythic plus? Oh, oh yeah. 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 We always do mythic plus. We have a lot of mythic plusers. Especially in our raid group. But Yeah, I definitely want to be doing some more... Uh, Mythic Plus, this next patch. I'm looking forward yeah. to it. The dungeon I'm... rotation is actually pretty decent, even though uh, a couple of the you dungeons are. 
Yeah, that's a new we got freehold, and everybody's like, hooray, freehold. Yeah, I think, I think they're going to not like freehold by the end of the patch. Yeah, It'll well, be like, fine. You just don't just still get not to pick get your pirates anymore. Mount. Yeah, you don't get to choose your pirates, which just really sucks. We're going to get Eudora every fucking time. Every Eudora. It'll Sorry. be fine. I originally had a, a raid plan to just teach, <laughs> like, go into normal, but teach everyone the boss fights purely as the heroic mechanics and then just have them wonder it's like oh god why isn't this mechanic happening we're just speeding through it we're killing them too fast good job team but then so many people were like i don't want to know about what's going on so it's like all right fine we're going in blind first three weeks enjoy oh fun yeah i mean okay well, first week absolutely i said if you want like i'll leave it up to the like i'm leaving it up to people how much they want to study for it i've already looked into it i've already read the the journal but it's like, if you want to go in blind, let them go in blind. That's fine. I've watched I videos. I always watch the videos, always. Especially now that I'm tanking again, I, I, I watch the videos. Oh, yeah. I like Ready, Check, Pull. Uh, that boss has gone downhill. Like I like I still like Ready, Check, Pull because they actually do the diagrams. They're like, hey, the dude faces this. I do. I watch Stanky. Stanky? Stanky. Okay. So what's the dungeon you guys are least looking forward to? Because I have a specific one All that I just... Confusion. Mm. The Halls of Infusion, I'm not a fan of, well, until the back third of it, I'm not melee, the, um, the under, not the under rot, the, the one with the, the gnolls that are poisonous. Bracken yeah, Bracken 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 one I am not looking forward I'm to. I'm looking forward to that one, that one was like fun. Dude, I do like not want to do Nelfarian's Lair. <laughs> at it all. Really oh, seems no. like I'm, I'm so tired of that dungeon. I am mm. tired of that dungeon. Mm. Now, I'm gonna hate Halls of Infusion because I'm already in Halls of Infusion hell. I mean, the only <laughs> reason I'm gonna hate it is that last fucking that some how many pug groups are gonna wipe on that gauntlet, and then that gauntlet's gonna... been changed. Oh, is it easier they've, now? They've already, they've already, yeah, they've already patched that gauntlet. Oh, so cool. the gauntlet in Brackenhide and the gauntlet in Halls of Infusion have already been patched. Oh, good because oh, the same, I hate was... gauntlets. Oh, you're shit. telling me you didn't like uh, Sanguini Depths? The Linguini Sanguini? Dude, that gauntlet sucked too. Yeah. That guy, yeah. Yeah, we got, it got easier as we learned it. Or if you had, you know, if you were able to... Only if you team. had a Venthyr in your if group. You, yeah. If you walked through that doorway with your healer at less than full mana, you screwed <laughs> yourselves. Yeah, it was rough. And it was like, oh, pull everything to the, the fucking lantern and then... If you didn't get everything to the lantern or didn't have a vent there, you're just like, Ugh. Paj wants everybody to bring back TV. He wants Tolgador. He that's he wants to no, go back. To I've prison. never said such a thing. I hate I know that you word. didn't. I, I I I know you were the most vocal about how AIDS that place is. You hate it. I feel you like whole thing from different floors with random things, and then you just have the whole dungeon like fall Paul. on you. And then Paj, no one could ever stand in the triangles, the little pie slices in the last boss, and get fucking murdered. Oh, that's true. I hated that boss. Give me, give me Toldzagor, but only if all hunters have to take Barrage to go into the dungeon and Twilight Devastation comes back. I want to pull stuff that I didn't even know existed in that dungeon. <laughs> no, Twilight no, 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 Devastation with that. dual slappies. Oh my god, dude. That was wild. Well, then you better there take was... a different hunter because I will never take Barrage. <laughs> there was, uh, back when we did that dungeon, um... A friend of mine was tanking for us as a prot warrior, and there was an interaction with the shield from that dungeon, that that riot door. Mm -hmm. If you were, if you were, enlarged from a toy or something, and then you avatared while holding that shield, everything went like you just straight transformed to vomit green underlayer. Like all the textures disappeared, your textures disappeared. Everything was just that straight green what until the, the avatar went away. It was oh, hilarious. That's so weird. You could always find him though, because it's like, look for the error on your screen. That's where your tank is. <laughs> At least he didn't turn into the uh, checkered box. Oh, that's pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> that would have also been funny. I feel like he should have, but there was some level, like some underlayer that didn't allow it to happen. I'm glad they didn't bring back a Taldazar, because I don't want to do that. Ugh. Well, you don't want to do King's Rest again a million times, Pop? Well, I love King's Rest. That's one of my favorite ones. So, I the actually like King's Rest, too. Everybody dungeon. hated it. 
I don't know why everybody hated it. It was a simple run. It was it was too linear. I hated how linear that dungeon was. Like between that and a Taldazar, I'd take a Taldazar every day because that one was much faster. Well, the thing about King's Rest is like you could learn it. Like everyone, could, this is what we're doing. Everyone should know it by the time. Well, other people like to do a Taldazar in random directions, depending which one they wanted to kill first, either the priestess or they wanted to go after the fucking the totem boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that was laid out in a way that you could easily do that. Like, King's Rest was just like Toldegore and just like Shadow Moon Burial Grounds. You are just stuck in a very linear dungeon. Yep, run the tunnel. And you're, yep. you're, held, you're held up by the RP and literally the tunneling. Run and the gauntlet. Let's go. Run the gauntlet. RP, all RP should be eliminated. And, and in, yeah. In, oh, in yeah. Boss, Odin. Change my mind. Fuck Odin. Oh, true. Especially Lava scrote. I'll be so happy back. to no longer see You have to go through all of it again. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> all right, and everybody. The, and the, the shortcuts weren't good either in King's Rest. Oh, yeah. They were they not were good. There was only the one. Where if you got the uh, yeah. uh, and anyway I people started skipping that too after the the big robot guys right before the uh, oh yeah the tomb the place yeah because <laughs> if you flew over and used that guy during quaking you'd all just fucking die midair yep oh, yeah yep yep all right everybody M less wow more D and D. I see everybody's in game. Looks like everybody is good to go. Uh, everybody have your drinks and snackies. <laughs> That's it. That's all I have to add. Uh, good, apparently, good addition. I, yeah. Great. Well, let us do. <laughs> let's do a quick recap. Uh, and if you fucking soundboard me during my recap, disadvantage. And it stacks on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Only during the recap, I think. I think light soundboard usage is fine. Uh, let's let's just see how it goes. Uh, previous top, anime, top I, five anime portrayals. <laughs> I'm fucking. I'm gonna regret this. I know I am. Uh, previously on Arctis Reflection, you all are finally. Uh, I shouldn't actually say finally. You all have spent a significant amount of time in Sibba's lair, deep underneath the uh, icy sheets of a seer. As you wandered through Sibba's rhyme shroom grove, you avoided most of the dangers there, and while making your way into the lair, the first thing that you encountered was a uh, curious rotting wooden door. And after some deliberation, you decided to lock it up and come back to it later. As you explored the cavern, one of the first things that you encountered was a um, strange mushroom-ridden knoll who seemed transfixed on a glowing green lantern that sat on the ground. After Gim and Amumu quickly put the um, mushroom-ridden knoll uh, to his death and took the lantern and used it throughout the caverns of Sibba's lair. As you moved through the northern tunnels, you saw uh, gnolls who were also ridden with moss and fungus, but this one in a less catatonic state, who were tending to the mushrooms in the cavern that were glowing with a bright phosphorescent glow. Now, the gnolls did not seem to rouse the anger of the mushrooms, but as some of you uh, moved into the mushroom swarm, the violet fungus that these gnolls were tending to um, woke up, and you saw that they were suffused with dark negative energy, and these void fungus set to work, assaulting your minds, trying to rip your very thoughts and memories from your heads. After battling with the psychic fungus and being a bit more wounded for the wear, you decided to pull back and potentially use what was behind that curious door, the 
entrance to Sibba's lair as a place to rest. But inside, as you threw open the door, <clears throat> were additional rot-covered knolls, and Raffaella quickly put her wand of fireballs to good use and lit the entire room ablaze. However, this room was being used as an old mining storage area, and in the corner happened to have a significant quantity of mining bombs that sat dormant and unused from for the knolls. The fireball lit these mining bombs aflame and proceeded to obliterate everything in the room, including making quite a ruckus. After surveying the damage, uh, the, the knoll was quickly no more in the series of explosions, and you sifted through the uh, remaining ashes of the room, finding scant reward in the destruction. A couple of uh, curious vials filled with swirling green liquid. As you moved back out to... Um, excuse me. <clears throat> after incinerating the room to cinders, you all decided to make it a brief place of respite shutting yourselves inside and getting a much-needed rest. But unfortunately, your barbarian, after resting, had scouted a little bit too far ahead, and some of the psychic fungus to the south were roused by his presence, and an impromptu battle with these upset fungus began to erupt, with Amumu taking the brunt of the damage. But now, with the party reconvened in the caves, and Amumu a little bit worse for the wear, due to his um, eagerness to peek ahead, we will see how the party continues to navigate the darkened caverns of Sibba's lair. As a reminder, the spores that linger in the air cause you to... Uh, excuse me, cause your mind to wander slightly, and you forget the steps that you have taken in the cave. And so the fog of war will be replaced, and you will not be able to see where you have previously trekked on the map. <clears throat> that is where we will start today, as we continue exploring and surviving Sibba's lair, in order to find the knoll, who is taking advantage of the dreaming. One moment, please. <laughs> Fucking damn, I clicked on a moon moon immediately. Duck noises. <clears throat> I was curious. I was like, I mean, I'm, I'm not mad. <laughs> uh, Mumu, I'm just going to clean up your buffs real quick. As you are no longer raging, the battle with the void fungus is currently over. No, I said remove, damn it. It's like apply another rage. No, no. All right, one moment. God, I was laughing too hard. I got the fucking coughs. Uh, can each of you link me your dankest cantrips? I just need to fill up the chat log real quick. Let's link a cantrip. Perfect. Perfect. N enough. <laughs> you you said fill it up. <laughs> I did. You can't get hey. mad at us because we go overboard. Miss <laughs> I'm Medina, not... I'm, yes. I'm constantly getting this on my screen showing armor class and then it's showing abilities dex dot mod. Oh, so there's like a weird artifact bug. If your mouse like hovers, so open your character sheet. 
Um, and then just take your mouse and hover it over your armor class again, and it'll go away. It just seems it, to be like it, an artifact. I, I, I just pop it out and put it on my other monitor, so I just don't want it to get there. So, okay, please continue, man. Yeah, not a problem. I was running into that as well, and I was like, why is this staying on the screen? Some weird bug. I hope they fix it. I smash. Version. I don't do numbers. <laughs> I wander off and get us in trouble, and I'm still quacking. That, that is true. Uh, you are all investigating the various corpses of the void fungi that lie strewn about the cavern, trying to see if there is anything useful hidden in their fronds. I got a cool watch. Gim managed is... to find something very curious. A what, magical what pocket watch. What does that do? <laughs> Let's link it. A timepiece of travel. While attuned to this device, he has a plus one bonus to deck saving throws, and you'll always know which way is north. Additionally, you can cast the Long Strider spell on yourself at will. You can name any location within ten miles of your current location that is known to at least one creature, also within ten miles of that location. Once you name it, a disembodied voice heard only by you provides directions to the location by the safest, most direct route. The voice knows to avoid natural hazards so that it does not send you through trackless wilderness or into a lake, but it has no knowledge or ability to help you avoid monsters, enemies, traps, locked doors, and the like. The timepiece is of no use for reaching locations that are secret or not known to any creatures within range. Once you use this feature of the timepiece of travel, it can't be used again until the next dawn. It has an additional ability called Get Away From It All. As an action, you can cast the Teleport spell. Once you use this feature of the timepiece of travel, it cannot be used again until the next done. Art of a hole. While this component is not installed, this is just a um, additional flavor thing, um, but that will not be relevant for right now. All right, guys. Um, should we keep going down this tunnel? Yeah, let's keep going. Uh, do we need to? Hold up. Uh, I thought you were spent, Gim, because I'm a little I'm not spent. Abby. And you're going to stay like that for learning your lesson. Ah, well, you got a pocket watch out of it. That seems pretty cool that I don't understand what it does, but it do what it do what it do. A pocket uh, stop, watch tells stop moving, time. Stop moving. Moving. We, need to, we don't need to keep charging down the hall. <laughs> I'm going to pause it right there. Moomoo, make me a perception check. Ah, God damn it. Have you learned nothing? Yeah, I, nothing <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Perception check, please. Roger. One sec. Oh, that's. Uh... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank what you for I... making my shame that much more shameful. If you had confetti, oh. why don't we just do that too? What have I done? Oh. That can be arranged. Uh, a Mumu, now that you and your brave friends have cleared out the hallway ahead of you, it looks clear aside for some, um, crawling spiders across the ground. Like, how big are the spiders? Size of dinner plates or the size of... Tarantula-sized. You know, okay, tarantula-sized, uh, alright. Intimidating enough, but, um, has furry butt. You may right. continue. Uh, okay, I'm gonna halt right here. Um, guys, I we it looks like I can kind of keep going straight. It looks like it kind of clears up down to the south, but that's about it. So I mean, there's also we, a path to the left over here. Yeah. There, uh, which way you want to go? I'm gonna take one step to the right. See some kind of light up ahead. The dim glow of some sort of phosphorescence emanates I, down the tunnel. I pull out my uh, my uh, undead lantern. Oh, okay. Um, it glows brightly with a green glow. All right, there's something undead in, in one of these directions near us. So keep your Let's right. try to go quietly, whichever way we we're going to go. I would like to stealthily walk down 
Uh, Gim, I that have way. given you light as your lantern is currently out. Okay. I'm going to guidance and stealth. Yeah, you're gonna have to roll, Mumu. Stealth roll? No, very stealthy. <laughs> Extremely stealthy. Uh, Mumu, you crunch down the hallway, stepping on some errant mushrooms as you move down. When am I allowed to make another? Uh, when the situation changes enough to warrant it. How do you do the, the peak again? Where you uh, it's kind of... Q, and you hold Q and swing your mouth. Alright. Hey guys, it opens up around this corner, so I think, like, it opens up a lot. So, we ready to do this? I think there might be I don't know. I, see, I think they're undead near us. We want to take a peek. Alright. Uh, Mumu, you're, you're peeking around the corner, but... Unfortunately, you are limited by the light of your friends, as you do not naturally have dark vision. Are we letting the blind one lead? I don't know. Back up. Let me see. Yeah, it opens up a lot. Can you see what's over? I can tell you that this this new opening goes up like a hundred feet. Six, well, 60, 70. Uh, Amumu, the familiar stream that cuts through the cavern lies before you in a small trickle, and you see small water serpents splitting about in the water. I cannot uh, move. You can't move? Yeah, it's not letting me. Uh, sometimes Forge likes to randomly like log people out oh, of the game, so or it is lagging. If you're having um, any like persistent issue with engaging with the game, I suggest refreshing. Um, All right, there we go. But yeah, I mean, it could be just lag. I find that Fridays about this time are just awful for server performance. All right, I'm uh, looking around. I can. I don't see. You said there's something in the water. Uh, there are shadows of little water serpents that are uh, swimming through the stream, busily gab gobbling up tiny fish. Uh, when we move further to the west, you see larger mushrooms, including a cap of some sort of Amanita muscaria that is glowing slightly with a soft red glow. Um, does it look like the void fungus that we fought before? This looks distinctly different. Uh, the void fungus were purple and black. And these are bright red, waxy looking with white nodules on the top. Can I roll a nature check to see if I know what it is? Absolutely. Guidance. Woo um, Cindy, that's pretty good. You you think it is a common uh, Amanita, but you might need to get closer to get a better look. Um, there's something slightly off about it, but you can't really tell from your distance. Would I know if it's from this distance, if it's dangerous or not? Uh, not with that check. Okay. Um, so I don't know if it's dangerous, but something does look off about that. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. I have, I want to try something. I have this trident of fish command. I want to try to dominate the that fish or whatever it is. <laughs> You're gonna dominate my fish. Okay. 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 I I love it. I'll allow it. I'm I'm not against, you know, suppressing new hobbies. You you do what makes you feel good, Gim. <laughs> Everything in this goddamn cave is attacking us, and I want to make sure this does not one of them. I mean, if you wanted to have what? general polite conversation, but you, you go ahead. You go ahead Look, with that I, trident. I, 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 I tried, remember? I tried to talk to a spider. How well that went up. Yes, you almost needed to pay them child support. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting errors. You, you can see it in my bag, right? Uh, the trident? Yes. Let me see. Uh, rolling. Oh, so I'm not... I do, yeah, it. I do. Trident of fish man. Mm -hmm. I uh, used this. Okay. Yep, 
Kim, as you step towards the water and you um, unleash the trident, um, there are multiple smaller snakes that are uh, sifting about here. What do you do? They're all small. Um, they're, they're, I would say, about two feet long and about as thick around as a garden hose. All right, I point at uh, the biggest one I can see and try to use my dominate on it. Make me a perception check, Kim. Okay. Give myself guidance. Woo! <laughs> um, a small serpent rises to the top of the water. Sorry about the error. This water snake does seem to be affected by your trident of fish command. What a snake. Mostly amphibious. Um, it is more like a skink. Okay. You have a tiny poisonous snake. Uh, at your disposal. Alright, um, have it come with us. How deep is this water? Uh, about a foot at most. All right, I think we should cross. All so right. I think it's like this little pet with me, right? Yeah, yeah. He'll just he'll hang out with you. Is my light still growing green? It is. I see a huge open area, and this can we all see this lantern right here? You yep. can. It is a lantern on the ground. Traditional, something used by dwarves. Probably has some quantity of oil or fuel in it that's illuminating the area. Um, Mumu and Gim, make me a perception check. With wisdom or guidance. <laughs> okay. Um. As you both get closer to the mushroom, it's about, uh, it's about six feet tall from the base of the stem to the top of the cap and covered in a bunch of white nodules. And you, you think you've seen mushrooms like this before in smaller quantities, uh, but as you get closer, it has almost a rubbery like look to it and the nodules look somewhat calcified. Uh, the, this mushroom looks very strange or altered in some way, but you can't quite put your finger on how. Uh, Montgomery, you can make me a nature check with advantage. Uh, Montgomery, this is definitely no mushroom that you've seen in the wild, and as you're squinting and looking it up and down, um, a horrific thought crosses your mind as you <coughs> look at the reddish cap and the white like or white nodules on it. You see that they're somewhat calcified, and after a moment you realize that they're actually bits of bone sticking out from a rubbery cap. And the rubbery cap is... <clears throat> Certainly not made of psyllium. It's more like flayed leather or flesh with these pieces of bone sticking out to look like a mushroom. And the way that this, um, the stem of the mushroom is slightly hairy, you would think, oh, that's just the, the striations of the, uh, the stem. But as you continue looking, you see that this mushroom has almost knoll-like features. 
That's mighty interesting. Uh, gentlemen, I'd highly recommend stepping back briefly from that, uh, well, that's not a mushroom. All right. Okay, I step back here. Do we want to burn it down, destroy it? What do you want to do? Um, Montgomery, you think that bone mushroom is breathing. Hey, Sindri, this, this is going to be, uh, work with me on this one here. What's up? Can you, can you try to, to thought, communicate with that mushroom? I will attempt to reach out and make a psychic connection with the mushroom. The, the, the not a mushroom, I guess. That's what we're going to call it now. Yeah. Um, Sindri, for a moment, a strong psychic presence washes over you. It is completely unexpected to even feel a remote thought coming from a, a mushroom. They are not intelligent creatures. But the, uh, well, the violet fungus, the void fungus, have certainly taught you that. But this feels like you are connecting with a being. And as you connect to it telepathically, instead of you sending a message as if you are picking up a phone and connecting to the, uh, to this person in their mind, they are actually sending you back something. But it is an image. It is you and the knoll. The knoll looks very normal. Brown fur, muzzle, wolf-like nose, or excuse me, hyena-like nose. He stands on the banks of a river, picking innocent mushrooms and mold from the bank. He looks content, and he chews on some of the mushrooms as he forages along the river bank. As you look around, the air is crisp and cool, and the stream that he is walking next to is clear and full of fat fish that hop up and out of the water and land back with a splash. And this idyllic dream, you hear the sweet sound of birds and the cool, crisp smell of pine on the air. And as you watch the knoll continue to forage, you realize this, this is a dream. This is what this being is thinking it is existing as. It is lost. And whatever is left here in the physical world is only enough to perpetuate enough life for it to contribute to the dream. Uh, Sindri, you, um, connect again, you connect with this knoll mentally, and you can, um, speak with it, if you like. Are, hey, 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 buddy, are you the mushroom? The knoll, um, happy to see someone else in his dream, Splashes across the river, a big basket of mushrooms, and hands you a fat one. He picks the same one out and chews on it happily. He does not seem to be aware he is only existing in a dream. Do you understand me? He chews on the mushroom and stares at you blankly does not seem that can either hear or understand you. But he understands kindness and hands you another mushroom. Now, I'm just trying to get the picture of this correctly. Mm -hmm. I am physically 
here yes. in the stream. Yes. But having a mental picture of being in the dream. Yes. Um can I do an arcana check on the mushrooms in my dreams to see if they're actually like see how I would interact with them if I decided to eat one? Uh sure, go ahead. Guidance Uh, Sintry, you are a relatively strong dream presence, and this image this knoll is giving you uh, is entirely a facsimile. It will have no effect on you. This knoll is not a dream weaver or a dream creator. He's just lost in a perpetual dream, so he does not have to suffer the fate and the torture of being a perpetual mushroom. I just look at him and I put it in my mouth and see if that does anything to the... Uh, it does not do anything except it has a very firm texture, as if you are eating a chunk of flesh, and blood and juices run down your mouth. It tastes like a thick portobello mushroom, but you are certain that is blood coming from your mouth. And the knoll does... Don't seem to notice the mouth. Maybe he interprets it differently. But you see that the mushroom that he has handed you um, <clears throat> is a part of flesh. It might be his interpretation of what he's giving you. Perhaps a portion of his life or energy. But this is all dreams and interpretations. So I relay kind of the general gist of it to everybody and I go um I think that mushroom is what happened to a knoll that died instead of passing it's stuck in this shape you're saying that he's dead inside the mushroom and the mushroom is feeding off his corpse? No. Well, like a uh, spirit? He, 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 he's not dead. Sindri, you, you are aware he is the mushroom. He has been changed yeah. somehow. He he turned into the mushroom. A mushroom wretch! Sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay, I was appropriate and awesome at the same time. So, so We can't the, pull him the, out of the mushroom. <laughs> No, I don't. There's nothing. Nothing there to talk to. Okay. So if he's in this mushroom, is this mushroom? Is he in pain? And if we s destroy this mushroom, is it, it going to alert anything? Is it going to put him out of his misery? I don't understand what we need to do with this. I, it sounds wrong. I don't know if he's in pain. I don't know if we would be putting him out of his misery. He seems peaceful. He's just kind of existing. Does it look like this mushroom can move? Uh, judging by how it is half embedded in the wall and its stem is thick and in the dirt, the dirt around it does not appear to be bothered. Doesn't it look like it can move? Right, so we got one of two options. We either destroy this mushroom or we continue down the path and see what made the mushrooms. I I think we just ignore it and move past. Okay. Do we want to go that way? It looks like this stream leads somewhere. I mean, there's a huge opening to the left. Yeah, we but can do that. I, I'm going to move 10 feet and just see here if I can see down. No, can't see nothing. Uh, Mumu, as you are getting much closer to that mushroom, you can now see that the white nodules on the outside are bare bone, probably crushed, um, but sticking out in random spots. 
the leather-like texture of the mushroom's cap, as you uh, give it a good squint, you can see veins running across it, and they're pulsing slightly. Okay, I'm gonna stick over to this here wall, and avoiding that. My one concern is that he's being kept in the dream. And we do know that Sibba likes to traverse the dream. I don't want to give her escape routes if we can avoid it. Oh, I did not think of that. So you want to destroy this? Don't get me wrong. If she's strong enough to get into the nightmare we were in, she's strong enough to find her way to the dream regardless. But I'm... (laughs) I'm at a dilemma. If he's not in pain, if he's not suffering, there's no reason to end the suffering that's not there. I'd rather live and let live if possible, but But I also don't know if... I don't know if she knows how to get out of there into the dreamway. She might be... This might be powering her, too. Yeah, I think it might be powering her i think it might be in our best interest to get rid of it that seems mean to me i'm with montgomery on this i don't know i mean it's not a lie he Uh, is trapped in an endless cycle that his body has been destroyed already He doesn't exist anymore, but a memory of what he was. I say we say a prayer for him and we destroy the mushroom. I'm kind of with Uh, Gim on this one. Yeah, I'm on Gim on this one. That just does not... Nah, man, just... Like, there... a torch to me. Yeah. When I made a connection, there there was nothing there. Like, it, it... wasn't communicating with anything. I can't in good conscience agree to end something that is peaceful, but I can clearly see I'm outnumbered in that idea. I will leave y'all to do what it is you think is best. I think this is more letting him I think it's him go to the higher plane instead of just not being something he can move to the higher planes and be with his god or I mean that that's under the impression that this one does follow a god and that this this is not the time nor the place of a philosophical discussion but what I would say in my defense is that if someone has found peace regardless of whether or not we believe it to be real that peace is often hard to come by and should not be disturbed I think even if we find Sibba he's going to this peace is a farce it's not real We've made the vote, and you've made your decision. I do not agree with it, but please feel free to do what you believe needs to be done. All right, I'm gonna cast Sacred Flame on it. Okay. Gim, I will not require a roll for this. The mushroom will be considered stunned, restrained, silenced, blinded, etc., etc. I say a prayer to the forge. Release this knoll from this endless nightmare. The mushroom goes up in a bout of sacred flame as the forge greedily consumes the moistened flesh of the mushroom. And unlike natural fire, the sacred flame quickly makes quick use of the mushroom and any spores that may be leaking from its gills. And soon enough, The mushroom is gone. The illumination, no more, as it sits as a pile of ashes upon the ground. There is no screaming, there is no uh, outward sense of hurt or harm. Just a couple pops as the bones overheat, quickly turn to charcoal. I give a prayer. I hope everything turns out well. 
Let's keep Go going. All right, so everybody sees this, right? It's like there's like a little ladder. Can everybody see the ladder? I'm not seeing the ladder. All right, so up everybody ahead here? looks like yeah. So we could see it. You just can't get. Yeah, now you can. Looks mm -hmm. like it kind of goes up. So I guess I'm gonna kind of slowly my way over so here. Stealth check if you're gonna sneak. Yeah, and I'm about. To... Man, nice. I am just stealthy, like a bull in a china shop. <laughs> I'm gonna start peeking up here. Can I see anything in this alcove? Uh, Sindri, make me an investigation check. Guidance. Um, Sindri, one of the beams overhead is clearly rotted on the ceiling here. Not very good. Now you've learned to identify these terrible ceilings. There is a pickaxe on the ground under this uh, precarious beam. That is all you get with a nine. Amumu, the ladder um, lies in front of you. It goes up about 10 feet, and it seems like it would be an easy climb. You are not moving quietly. You are a large lad. Well, fellas, do we want to go up the ladder? Because I can, can I see over the the ridge? You know, I am a tall fella. Uh, you are tall. You can see various mining implements up there. A couple of uh, rotted sacks next to an old mine cart. There are some crystals that are protruding from the wall, providing a small amount of light. There are some also uh, a couple of old barrels sitting around. All right, so guys, looks like this elevated goes in the hallway, kind of turns over to the right. So you want to keep on going? Was there anything back there, Sandry? It looked like it uh, went down, and it looked like to to the right this here, does too. back way where we came all right well, i'm gonna i'll go first you guys come up right behind me <clears throat> i would like to make a stealth check up the ladder you're gonna go quietly up the ladder yes and just peek my head up just 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 enough to get my head over just to see if i see anything all right make me a stealth check And make me an athletics check, please. Uh, Amumu, as soon as you put your foot down on the first rung of the ladder, you smash through it. Crunch. Uh, okay, well, um, I could toss y'all up, and then y'all can, like, kind of pick my ass up. How tall are you? Oh, uh, that is a very good question. Uh, he's like I am probably a around seven feet. You can choose how tall you are, but you are a Goliath. So. About that, yeah. I was about to say I was like probably six, five, jump seven. up to the ledge and pull yourself up. All right, but how are you guys gonna get here? Well, you have a rope, right? You don't know me. <laughs> get your big ass up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. All right, let me give me happen. one more athletics check. All right, hold on. Doing a little stretch. Don't want to cramp and jump. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, Amu, the ledge as you reach up and attempt to grab it crumbles underneath your fingertips and you go slipping back down to the ground. Nobody saw that. Uh, fine. Well, you're short ass. Go up there. Go on, jump. You're so fucking clever. Raffi. Yes. Do you happen to have rope on you? I'm pretty sure I do. All right. Well, while while these guys try to figure out what they're gonna do, how about we do the lizard rodeo? We get up there, Let's toss rope go. down. The lizard rodeo. Lizard Rodeo. And Montgomery will once again take the form of a giant lizard. <laughs> the crickets! Alright, one moment. 
Montgomery, the giant lizard. Once again. <laughs> And let me fix your vision, just in case you can't see. Is that better, Monty? That is much better, thank you. <gasps> Montgomery, you shift and turn to the giant lizard, and uh, Raffaella uh, immediately mounts up for one second. Let's see if I can actually mount Raffaella onto Montgomery, giant lizard. All right, Monty, you should be able to move with Raffaella on your back now. Uh, Monty goes skittering up the side of the wall. He is a giant lizard and very sticky and does not need to make a check. Montgomery, as you reach the top, you see a few mushrooms sprouting on the ground. There's a shovel nearby and uh, a minecart filled with coal, a couple of sacks and another pick. There are some, um, light green shards sticking out of the wall. While I wait for Raffaella to lower the rope and help get our allies up here, I'm interested in, uh, wondering if there's any temperature or interesting scents coming from the mushrooms and where they're growing. I see Raphael is working with the rope. Montgomery, make me a perception check. <laughs> I've uh, dismounted Raphael. Let's see. I'll just move you off. There you go. Raphael, you begin to tie the rope up top and you throw the other end to your friends. Uh, anyone who wants to climb up can make me a very quick and easy DC 10 athletics check. Climb the rope. DC Mo 10? Mm-hmm. Can we use acrobatics? Uh, it's athletics to climb the rope. Guidance. <laughs> Say uh, Mumu, have you ever climbed a rope in your life? All right, Sindri. Sindri pushes a Mumu aside. After you. Gim, you still gotta you still gotta do the athletics yeah, check. I, yeah, I realized that after I rolled a D. <laughs> I was like, I was wondering huh. that. Like, okay. uh, DC ten doesn't mean roll D ten. Oh, I give myself the guidance. Okay. Uh, Gim, you too make it up. Mumu seems to be struggling because he is the largest Go of your group. Go without me, Montgomery. Here, yeah, Goober. With that perception check. Underneath these mushrooms, you smell, with your lizard tongue, the distinct smell of decay. Something is dead beneath the earth here. Hmm. I do wonder if it might be the owner of those, those bags and that pick. Is my lantern uh, still growing green? Uh, it is. Okay, there's something undead around here, too. I would uh, like to try Sindri, to... I think we found it. All right. Can I try pulling Amumu up the, up the hill? Sure. Uh, make, I me a, make me a... Uh, make me an athletics check. Your DC will be a little bit higher. Guidance. Good enough. Amumu, you're gonna get, um, you wanna sit on the rope and then have him give you some uppies? Yes, Rapunzel, let down your hair. <gasps> Amumu finally gets up with, mostly with Gim's help. My wife just walked in and was like, Goddamn giant can't climb a 10 Rapunzel? foot hill. <laughs> Uh, Montgomery, something is buried under the earth here, rotting away, and the mushrooms are sprouting over it. The, the uh, shovel that is currently lying here is lightly covered in 
Third. Sandra, I don't know if you're just peeking into my head or not, but if you are, the dead are feeding the mushroom. If you're not, I'm just going to look at you and flick my tongue and point my head down to the dirt, then flick it over to the shovel, then back towards the dirt. I will now make a psychic connection with him because he was <laughs> motioning at me. Uh, what's up, Montgomery? <laughs> oh, I was trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. What's a car? I'm pretty certain that shovel over there is what was used to bury what's clearly dying beneath these mushrooms and keeping them fed. Um, I will then say the group. Uh, so I think that shovel, Monty says, is what's feeding the mushrooms or something dead underneath him. Is it like the old uh, big mushroom we saw over there? Uh, these are. I think it's a dead thing. They're they're baby versions. Small, just freshly poked up from the earth. Do you want to look them over again? Uh, I'm just gonna burn them all. <laughs> Gim is just like, fuck it. Uh, Gim does a little, a little murder. This is all unnatural. We need to find Siva. I'm getting mad. Mushrooms are... Mushrooms are part of nature. I, I don't know if we should talk to him about that or not. Um, I'll let you breach that subject to him. I, th I think he more means the the dream mushrooms. That's, that, that's pretty non-nature. They're using well, these corpses to bur to raise hmm. these mushrooms. I am done with this. I'm burning them all. With all these little baby mushrooms with the fire. Excuse me, buddy. All right, Gim gets to work purging the mushrooms with sacred flame. What are the rest of you doing? Is this a drop down or yeah. is this a? Oh, there are a couple barrels here and a couple sacks. Do you uh, investigate or do you continue down further? I was continuing down further. I'm just wondering this um, wooden beam? beam. Yeah. Is that a overhead beam or is, is that a drop down? It is an overhead beam. Can I check it to see how sturdy it is? Absolutely. Make me an investigation check, please. After what happened last time. Sindri, this beam is precarious, but with a successful stealth check, if you move quietly across, you might be able to not cause a small avalanche in the area. Um, guys, be careful of this beam. It, uh... It is not the sturdiest thing in the world. We'll have to be quiet around it and get around it quietly. Well, it is okay. Can I use anything to make it sturdier? Um, if you have the spell mending, you might be able to repair it. Can anyone mend things? And I'll make a connection to Monty. Monty, can yes. you mend things? Yes, I can. If you want to drop form, you want to fix this so we don't have an avalanche? Do I have to drop form to cast a cantrip? Uh, yep. If it has a verbal component, yes. Dang uh, it. I think okay. if it has any components. Uh, somatic can, as long as the wild shape you're in has arms and you can still, com you know, do the somatic component, you can. If you have the material components on you, you still should be able to. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm pretty liberal with it, that. Okay. Because at 18th, you can do verbal and semantic. That, I mean, that, if he can speak at 18th level as any animal, that makes sense. Uh, Monty, I like you... the idea of, you know, watching a 
bear's arms move around to cast a spell. Uh, uh, Monty, do yes, you... I will drop form to men. All right, I'll revert your transformation. All right. Uh, there are some uh, sacks over there we may want to check out, by the way. Go ahead. I'm going to kind of just stand guard right here, looking forward. I will look in the sacks. Right. Tindri, as you open up the sacks. I'm like, hold on a second. You're on my sacks. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. Um, You find Crazy. the remains. Wow. Um, you find some additional mining bombs that were probably used to clear out this area. But on a scrawled piece of parchment tucked between the um, lid of one of the mining bombs, you find arcane words and patched together. Spell out a spell. Something sinister. Something about... Altering the dead. Okay, so I found bombs. Um, Gim, you fire. might want to use these. You deal with fire. Yeah, I'll take the bombs. Um, but I found this spell scroll. Um, it'll make us invisible to... Um, It'll make us invisible to. Uh, Where's my snake? Us or one? Uh, he's there. Hold on. Let me let me find him. I can hear him. There you go. Snake friend is with you. It it'll make us invisible to. Um. Undead. Okay, and you mean us as a group? This thing will work as a group, not just the individual. Yeah, no, it will oh, target okay. the okay. six of us. Is it a one-time use? Yeah, most spell scrolls are. Um, I've heard stories of wizards being able to copy spells, but that that's not in my wheelhouse. I don't know how to absorb a spell. Unless that's um, something I can do. So any, I have a house rule for scrolls. Anybody who could potentially read the scroll um, in this this spell, uh, who picked it up? Was it Gim? No, it was Sindri. myself. Sindri. It's Sorcerer, Wizard, Warlock, Ranger. So Sindri would be able to um, teach anybody in the party how to use it. The scroll would soul bind to you. You can only have one scroll soul bound to you at a time, uh, and that person would be able to read it. Um, it is a one-time use magical item. Um, as long as you have somebody in your party that can teach you how to read it, you can read a spell scroll. That is a the house rule. It makes scrolls a little bit more fun. Yeah, but we can't use it multiple times. It is destroyed after one use. After you yeah. use it, you cannot learn it. Is it like, do we have to use it beforehand? Or if we, like, can we, like, uh, rogue vanish with it? Uh, uh, you you can use it in combat, like you just read it, and then it it would be as if you were casting the spell. Yeah, it's it it I can do this as quickly as all my other spells. So, all right. So we want to continue forward. What's around the corner, Monty? Oh, did I finish burning all the mushrooms? Yes, you have diligently burned all of the mushrooms, except for the ones that are past Montgomery and Amumu. As they are warning oh, for anybody to not go past, unless uh, Montgomery has mended. He cast mended already. Oh. And the beam oh. repairs itself from the rot, and there are a few other mushrooms deeper inside the cave. It, is it still glowing green? My lantern? Uh, are, these, are these the same mushrooms that are glowing over here? It, it Your lantern is still glowing, yes. Right, I'm going to start burning those two. Okay. okay. The light begins to go out on the mushrooms as Gim burns them from uh, top 
to the bottom of the stem, and the lights around you quickly begin to go out, as all of the mushrooms are efficiently incinerated, the only light remaining from the nearby lantern and the crystals glowing in the wall. And my light's not growing green anymore, right? It is not. I think that was the source of the undead. What's around the corner, Monty? Oh, oh, just some more mushrooms. Let's Those are gone. find out. The, uh... This part does drop off here. It goes to the left and to the right, and there's a big pillar splitting the area. It drops down about ten feet, with no visible way down, uh, into darkness. I think it should probably go back around. Well, no, we gotta jump down ten feet either way, because we, we get a rope. Can we uh, lower a rope? Everybody here can make me an investigation check, please. are really bad. Wow. Wow! Can I get a wow? Amumu? Wow! Thanks. Amumu, hope you Amumu investigate. Save it. us. Save us. Good lord. Amumu? Who dat? Who dat? Amumu. Apologies, <laughs> wife was asking a question about food. Please explain again. Make me a... Roll an investigation check. Yes, that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we uh, all suck. It's a oh, fucking... SpongeBob. Wow. It's a fucking <laughs> wisdom. I got like a plus one. Well, um, you do find something buried in the dirt near one of the burnt remains of the mushrooms, just barely poking out of the earth. Must have been dropped or forgotten. But it's probably not very valuable. Uh, the highest roller here was a Moomoo. A Moomoo, roll me a 1d100. Oh, that's a 1. Twenty-eight. Uh, in the dirt. Find sand. You find a small vial, still corked, sloshing around with a red liquid. Um, gameism, it says potion of healing on here, so now I'm like, mm. I still don't know what this is, right? You, t you out of character, um, I mean, can see what it is, but in character, you do not. Oh, I have no fucking clue. All right, well, hey, guys. Check it does look out. it you are familiar with potions of healing and they uh it does look similar in color and texture all right um hey uh well, one of y'all are alchemy inclined and smarter than me but this looks like stuff that we used to make to be able to after fights or whatnot looks so uh, you should probably keep it yeah all right uh well let's uh so one of y'all identify it just to make sure i don't want to start chugging shit and i, I die I'm using all my spell slots to invent it. <laughs> Skip this bottle right now. You, you can cast it as a ritual. All right. You no. got 10 minutes to wait. No, right, got... I'm coming to pick it up. Let me, I've got to pick it up I first. wouldn't mind waiting even, you know, like an hour, but that's up to you guys. What yeah. an hour, what an hour do for us? Take a short rest. Short okay. rest. Uh, uh, Montgomery would gain his wild shape back. Okay, let's take a I'll take, take a break. Give me the give me the vial and I'll do an investigate on it. All right. I get any spell? We don't get any spell points back, do we? Uh, on a short rest for you, no. If you Raffy would, would though. Raffy if would. you haven't used your channel divinity, which is on yeah. a short rest. You can oh. use your channel divinity to gain a spell slot back. That is true. That is true. Yeah, I haven't used my channel divinity. So, so you can use it before 
to gain one and then you'll get it back at a short rest which then you can use it again to get a okay then I want can I get a spell slot back then absolutely if you use your channel divinity you can go right ahead uh, for now if you all decide to take that short rest um since Amumu is resting uh there has been a little bit of danger here in this cave, and every moment that you remain in here is potentially a threat to you and yourself. And I'm going to say the overall danger level of this cave has risen due to the uh, ruckus and the already large amount of time you've spent here. Um, let's see. So let's see if you're... I'm sorry, Sindri? It's acting, asking me to roll a wisdom save? For what? For channel divinity? Oh, I have a target at you for some reason, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm closing that. You should probably yeah. target yourself. <laughs> Stop trying to convert Sindri. That's rude. <laughs> that wasn't what I was trying to do. I didn't realize I had him targeted. He's like, channel my divinity, yeah. grab Sindri's oh. head. Excuse me, the forge would like to speak with you. I Sindri cast- fails. There we go. Ah! So which spell slot do I get back? Uh, you gain one spell slot of a one equal to half your proficiency modifier rounded up, so you can choose a first or second level. I want a second one, then. Now, let's see if anything um, comes across your hiding spot while you're waiting. Um, How do I get it back, though? Can you give Oh, you just click. You just click it. Like, click the little circle. What little circle? Uh, on your Check spell, your book? spell book. If you go to click on your spell book, it says like first level, and then it has like two book. circles because it shows how many spell slots you have. You just fill it, fill one back up. Oh, okay. Oop. Yeah, that that just helps you keep track of your your slots. Um, so. now let us see your danger. Um. Who was the highest roller? On the investigation. On the investigation. That was a moo moo? That's unfortunate. Yep. <laughs> Come on, man. This is this is my chance to redeem myself. Alright, a moo moo. Um I need you to roll a 1d20. If it is 14 or higher, something is going to find you. Alright. For fuck's sake, I roll. Uh, we're gonna... <laughs> I need to take a quick bio break. So, <laughs> all right, all right. So like shit stay all day. And now you roll eight. Just absolute dog shit all day. All right. Uh, I have to pee. So let's take a quick five minute bio break. Yeah. Right. And we'll okay. see what decides to uh, wandering monster in your business. Five minutes. I'll see you in five. All right, everybody back. Yarp. See, with them awesome rolls at a shitty time. Uh, Sindri and Monty. All right, we'll give them a couple minutes. I am here. I'm just trying to find my fungi. No worries. Give Monty a moment. <laughs> ah, the druid has returned. No, that was me. I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, I had a godfather in my hands. I needed to make sure it got down safely. God damn it, I need to make those. I'll be 32 seconds. Apparently it's still upstairs. 32 seconds? Very well. Bananas and blow. <laughs> Bananas and blow. 
Bananas and Blow. It's a great song. I have not Check heard it this. Out. <laughs> Sitting in my cabana with Bananas and Blow. Okay. Yeah, I can see. I can see that. Now, it, it's basically like boat music, but Bananas and Blow. <laughs> bananas and Blow? Oh. Bananas and Blow. Bananas and Blow. As we return to the darkened caves, an hour passes, and Gim, you cast Identify as a Ritual in order to <laughs> discern the nature of this curious potion. And judging by the look and smell and the strawberry odor that wafts up from it, it is a potion of healing, as you thought, and it is not cursed or tainted, thankfully. However... As the hour wanes on, you hear footsteps coming from further on in the cavern. From which so, direction? From the east, behind Raffaella. Raffaella and Amumu may be the only ones that can see on the uh, verge of the light a knoll who is kneeling down and examining the remains of uh, the smoldering mushroom. He kneels down and puts his hand in it. You can see in the, the, the very slight light that his fur too is covered in fungus and rot. But the knoll sniffs the dirt and looks around, his lips curling over darkness? his teeth. Uh, yes, you can. Raffaella, you, he can't see us. <laughs> you and your friends are surrounded and blanketed in darkness. You cannot see him, but he cannot see you. The knoll investigates. He looks around at the burnt mushrooms, kneeling and touching them, sniffing. What do you all do? I can't see him, right? Uh, uh, let me see from your current vantage points who can see him. Monty cannot. Gim cannot. Amumu can. Raffaele can. Uh, Cindy yeah. can. Uh, no, we're in darkness. Oh, you're in darkness, so none of you can see anything. In fact, I'm going to mark this as just quite literally impenetrable darkness. Uh, vision limitation enabled. Vision limit. Uh, zero. <laughs> Save. Enjoy your fucking darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my old friend. Uh, Raffi, what is going on? Why are you dropping this darkness on us? There's an all over there. So I'm just trying to make it so he can't see us. <laughs> yeah, but now he can. The giant black <laughs> Crunch, crunch, crunch. The footsteps come closer. You cannot see him. Crunch. You can hear his breathing growing louder. <gasps> he looks at the... something. <sighs> and you can hear his claws struggling to get up the... Um, the cliff you all were climbing on. As a reminder, Amumu had broken the ladder, so it is not functional. And the knoll is potentially a ten-foot climb. Um, when this is going on, can I, I know it can't, uh, I need to be able to see the creature. Yeah, you cannot see anything. Can I, since I kind of know where it is. Can I cast Whisper 
and try to disguise my voice as like a as it being far away. Uh, let me look at whisper real quick. Or er, uh, message. Message. Because I can point towards the creature. Within range, whisper a message. Target. Oh, okay. Can I try? If I can't do it, I won't cast the spell. But I want to try to make it like throw my voice with the spell. Um. Hmm. You will have. I will allow you to cast the message, but you will have to do a deception check for me. Okay. And I will need you to uh, act it out for me before you roll. So I kind of want to make it sound like we're far away, like down in the river that we saw, and kind of make it sound that like. Hey guys, I think I found something. But make it sound like it's really soft and from a large, far distance away. Okay. Make me a deception check to see if it works. Oof. Oof. You hear the... You cannot see it, but you hear the gnoll make a questioning noise. And you hear the sounds of its claws stop scratching on stone. And the footsteps recede. Possibly not in the direction you were intending, but they do sound like they're getting slightly further away. The sound of the gnoll's heavy breathing recedes. And soon cannot be heard. Okay, I think I can probably drop this darkness now. Are you guys cool with that? Uh, that's probably... Oh, no. Uh, Raffaele? Yeah. yeah, you can just... Boop, there you go. The darkness recedes. You are still in a darkened hallway, of course, but... The gnoll seems to have wandered off elsewhere, hearing something more interesting. Where do we want to go now, guys? But you do know now a gnoll is wandering these halls. Oh, we got, um, the, got that water that just kept going back that way when we came down this path. And I, I think the gnoll may have came from that way. Alright, um... Uh... Either head back to the river, or I don't know what's down below us. But we have to get down off this little ledge. Which shouldn't be too hard, but... Well, yeah, I mean, Amumu can, lo we can, lo Amumu can lower us down with a rope. It, it, it's not that far. We can jump it. Ten feet? Yeah, if we hang off the edge, jump down. All right, let's, let's go off the side of the hill, then. I mean, we could go down that way and then just rope. Like, we could rope it, but... Well, let's... We need to make a decision which way we're going. I, 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 I say we go this way, because I don't think... It's the way we got up. We can get back down pretty easily. The way easily. we came? Okay. Yeah. All right. Because this, this does loop, it looks like. That's from what right. I saw earlier, so. so. Which way that null go? Can I roll a survival <clears throat> check to see where he went? Absolutely. Go ahead. I can actually see him from where I'm standing. Uh, Sindri, you are not sure, but Raffaella, you can see him. Where is he, Raffaella? Yeah, he's to the left. In the left fork of the hallway up toward the river side like uh, over okay. here where I'm pinging it won't let me ping it's further up 
Okay, but it's that direction. Well, we're gonna yeah. have to get down quietly. <sighs> he breathes heavily, raspily, as he stands in the river. Alright, let's get down while he's over there. Okay. Umu, yourself. Yeah, I'm going. I will cast Guidance on Amumu so he yeah, can yeah. stealth down. Uh, Amumu, first roll me Athletics with Advantage. And then Stealth. Okay, Amumu, you grab the rope this time. You've remembered how to use rope in your short rest. Make me a Stealth check. Yeah. Uh, with, a, with, with Advantage? Uh, with no. A 1D4. With, with a 1d4. With a 1d4. Amumu, you grasp the rope, give it a good tug to make sure it is stable, <clears throat> and you launch yourself over the edge and land very quietly. Oof. Round. Now that's the kind of climbing you're used to. Ah, super sneak. Let's go. All right, I'm going next. Same check, Gim. Athletics advantage to get down, and stealth to see if you do it quietly. It's pretty good. Gim, you make it down. With how much... Myself guided. With how much noise. That's pretty good. Amumu, you help Gim down as he descends, but he does not need it as well. A dwarf knows the inside of a cave just like the inside of your mom. <laughs> wow, uh, Sindri, that it's... was aggressive. <laughs> That's awesome. Emotional damage. <laughs> Sindri, you're next. Okay, uh, athletics with advantage. Yes, please. With the one d four. Wow. <laughs> suck. Um, yep. Sin Sindri, you're going to fall. Amumu, you can try and catch him. Yes. What do I need to rank? Uh, uh athletics check, please. Uh, DC is uh fifteen. Falling, I'm going to cast Mage Armor subtly <laughs> on myself. Okay. So with <laughs> using subtle spell, so I proc my Astral Shard. Bonk. And just teleport. This motherfucker blinking. Uh, as Sindri looks yep. to not make it down the rope instead he opts for the more graceful B just blink down forehead nice use of the you, astral shard you gave me this thing i'm going to <laughs> abuse the fuck out of it nice save uh raffiola athletics with advantage and then still raffiola you're going to fall uh, anything you want to do before you fall. Boo-boo catcher. Okay, uh, athletics check again. Still normal. <laughs> ah, the Wilhelm scream. Yep, athletics. Raffaella, what's your AC? Oh, that's actually good enough. Uh, Amumu, you catch Raffaella. Uh, Raffaella, you are briefly prone and grappled, but Amumu catches you as you slip off of the... Uh, off of the rope. Your delicate hands are not built for rugged climbing. All right, here you go. Thanks, Mumu. He puts you gently on the ground. Please don't hit me with fireballs. Montgomery, you are the last to climb down. All right, athletics with advantage, right? Yes, sir. Can I give him guidance? Sure. That's that's good enough, Monty. Just like climbing down a fire vine. Stealth. Yeah. Oh, and stealth for Raphael as well. Nice. <laughs> good. Oh, all right. Uh, Monty and Raphael get down with. Little effort, well, with a bit of effort and a significant amount of noise. Uh, right now, you are 
far enough away, and the knoll is currently standing in the small stream, so luckily that is covering most of the sound. But if he's lingering to, to the north, just be just be careful. Oh yes, 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 in your snake. Hauls himself, just Tony Hawks off of Monty's head, off of Amumu's bald head, onto the ground. Back towards the stream, I guess? Alright. I think so. The sounds of water get slightly louder as you get closer. Alright, I'm gonna peek around to make sure the dude's not up here. Uh, can I just poke my head out just a little bit just to see if the guy is, uh, throwing with? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Alright, guys, I don't see anything, but I can't see much, so I think it's clear. We're gonna go, we gotta go. They're really quiet. Yeah, Mumu's like, oh, sorry. in the other room, we can't hear you. Is that better? Yeah, it's better. Yes. There we go. Guys, I gotta whisper again, but I think we ought to get the fuck out of Dodge. He's not there, but we gotta go. So sneakily down the river, then. Yes. See? I was planning on it. Row, row, row your boat, bitches. Okay, hold up. It's a little light up here. <sighs> the sound of the knoll's heavy breathing continues to the north. Amumu, oh. you enter a large, a slightly larger cavern. As you look around, there are multitudes of these mushrooms growing around in soft sand that sparkles in the light. You see those shelf-like glowing yellow fungus that were also on the walls of the cave to the north. You had not investigated those further, but the strange aura that they were putting off seemed to put you ill at ease. The rest of the mushrooms in the chamber, some small and stunted, and some as large as the um, bone mushroom that you had seen in the other room, um, all sit scattered around the room. And now that you've come to recognize that the gnolls have been turned into mushrooms that are just perpetually dreaming, you see gnoll-like features on each of these mushrooms. Whether it is the brown hairs that make up the gills of the mushrooms, or the stretched out flayed skin of the caps, they all seem very beautiful yet grotesque at the same time, knowing that the gnolls' bodies have transformed into these beautiful but fleshy creations. Um, I need both Sindri and Amumu first to make me perception checks. Okay. Give me two seconds. Oh, for the oh. love of God, thank you! Ooh. Praise of the Hallfathers. Alright. It doesn't take too long as you gaze into the cavern to first give the mushrooms the once-over. And after agreeing, yep, they're fucked, your eyes turn to the dirt. Normally, someone that is imperceptive uh, would not notice this soft sand that these mushrooms are growing out of is moving slightly. Something burrows underneath these sands in thick lines. They might be worms or ants or beetles or something that lurks underneath the sand, but the tiny mounds that move to and fro are everywhere. I want to send my snake out there. Okay. Let me, let me grab Snake Chan. Where is Gim? Are you under Raffaella? I think she, we, we were all moving at the same time. <laughs> Raffy, stop I, mounting everybody. Here. You did it once. Let me find That's Snake Chan. Think. Here we go. Snake Chan. Let 
Your snake slithers up to you, Gim. I asked him to go go into the sand. Uh, he will do as you say, and dives into the sand, disappearing underneath. Did he go under the sand? Yeah, he's like burrowing underneath. Trying to like dig into it with his little snake body. Uh, soon enough he disappears. Alright. Call him back. Snake Chan does not return. Uh, something ate my snake. Um, okay. Uh, you do feel your magic and the connection to the snake is severed. There's something in that sand. Uh, what yes, is that yellow glowing stuff on the wall? They are shelf-like fungus that are thick, waxy, and yellow. Um, they seem to be glowing or putting off spores in a very visual area around them. Um, if you tilt your head to the side a little bit, they kind of look like the waxy insides of knoll ears. And that big mushroom by the stairs looks like what, what I burned earlier? Uh, yes. That one looks like the one you uh, had burned earlier, a, a big mature one. The rest of the mushrooms also have knoll-like features. They're just, um, they're all different in their own little twisted ways. I'm ready to prepare. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to burn that big one in the back with my sacred flame. Everyone be prepared for whatever happens when I burn this. Okay. All right, hey, Sindri, let me let me swap spots with you, buddy. Aim for that big one by the stairs. Okay, that big one way no, back no, no. there. Here. Oh, uh, okay. One north of it. All right, Gim. You point, and your sacred flame lights the waxy knoll ear mushroom on fire. The resulting heat seems to rouse something from underneath the sand, and from out of the sand an insectoid head appears. A massive ant with a bright green thorax burrows itself out of the sand. Its mandibles are dripping with visible poison that sizzles on the mushrooms below corroding them almost instantly. The ant, scared off by the sacred flame, moves away from it and begins to try to burrow underneath the earth once again. Can I reach into its mind and cast Mind Sliver? Uh, you can most certainly try. Uh, it'll try and make an int save. Uh, at a minus five, it does not. And Sindri, your mind sliver, does take effect. And the ant lets out a terrible screech. It is high pitched. And it sounds like it's coming from the ant's other end. The, you... the glowing green end? Mm hmm. The sand around the ant begins to churn. And in fact, the sand in all of the room begins to churn as more ants make their presence known. One moment, please. Holy um, Jesus. Rafi? Uh, I need here right now. Please leave a message. <gasps> do, do, do you have any of the loud sticks? We need your yeah. boom stick. One moment. Oh. Is 
eight that I can see. There might be more. Eager ants burrow their I way out of ten. the sand and turn. I need everybody to roll initiative for me. The ants shriek and burrow themselves out of the sand. And immediately the swarm is roused. Uh, I am going to just make one of these guys' names visible. So you can see them. But one of the ants races forward to devour whatever has Intruded upon their nest. Uh, one moment, please. More irritated than anything, it will target a moo moo and spit acid towards the barbarian's face. <laughs> the splash of acid hits the barbarian. For four acid damage. Amumu, at the start of your turn, you will take one acid damage unless you use your reaction right now to wipe off the spit. Do you want to use your reaction? No. All right. Very good. There will be more anting as the ants scurry forward. These antics are out of control. <laughs> they seem to hover at the edge of the water. And Hawk spit at a Moo Moo. This one missing. So they're not entering the water. They don't appear to be. <laughs> spit! That'll hit. Amumu, do you wipe off the acid? No. He will take two damage at the start of your turn. Now, if he wipes the acid off later, does he get rid of all of the acid? Yes. Okay. So right before your turn, you wipe yeah, it yeah, off. Yeah, 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 I'm thinking that. And I'm also going to, like, rage and then... Yeah. Might be able don't, to do that. No, no, gotta do it then, Rage. Don't, don't worry. We're, 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 we're gonna have fun, Button. Uh oh. Another ant volleys acid at a Moo Moo. A Moo Moo, do you wipe off the acid? No. It'll take three damage at the start of your turn. I'm just gonna right. uh, mark it down. That's three. Sindri, you're up. You know what we need for the soundboard? What? We need. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> oh, quack. That's a good one. I'll accept quack for haste. Amumu. Sindri hastens your uh, abilities, allowing you to attack and move faster than before. Um, Sonic ain't I... got shit. I'm going to insight and not know anything, <laughs> but I'm going to quick and spell and then I'm going to target, uh, which one did I, it was this one that I injured before, right? Uh, it was this one back here. Okay. I am going to 
lob a bolt of fire. Hmm, okay. That'll hit. <laughs> the ant is immediately obliterated by uh, Sindri's fireball, the green pustulant uh, thorax exploding on contact with the fire. And then I'm going to teleport. I can see th this space, correct? Uh, yes, you can. Actually, no. Uh, is this a space or is that considered wall? That is wall. Okay. Um, I'm going to stay where I am then. Okay. Uh, they seem to appear weak because I just blew one up with a firebolt. So, Raffi, if you've got the go loud button, it might save time, but I wouldn't waste it on these guys. Well, yeah. All I can see is four, so... Yeah, if you take a couple steps, you're you're good. Okay, where? Uh... Right here might be a good... If you can see my ping. <laughs> you want me to go all the way? Are you trying no, to No, no, no. No, the, the, that's where you drop your... Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, Nuclear yeah. launch detected. <laughs> yeah, it... it, it I'm calling in an airstrike right there. Okay, gotcha. If you want to use it, an speed that up. Uh, that's going to be my turn. Next up, another ant scurries forward. Uh, he will also target a Mumu. Spit. Which will hit. Mumu, you take six acid damage as you are just getting covered in acid. Mumu, do you wipe off the acid? I don't wipe off the acid, but four. I, I would wipe. I would wipe yeah. it off now. Yeah, fuck it. And I was about. Can I use my stones endurance for reaction? Uh, no, this would use your reaction. So if you yeah, use I stones wipe. endurance, then you cannot yeah, no. wipe off the I, acid. I, I wipe off the acid. Okay, your reaction is used. Next up. Uh, wait, I'm gonna mark you. You are at zero stacks. Sorry. That was for a Moo Moo, not Gim. Gim, you're up! You keep zooming me in. Yeah, my bad. I had you yeah. targeted. It moves everybody in. <laughs> ah. Stop! Stop curing the people I want to kill! Uh, it didn't do anything? It did. You gave him yeah, eight hit points. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it on the back end. Uh, Mumu had nine left. You healed him for eight. He's at 17. Okay. What did I, I roll a four plus an eight? You rolled a four plus... A, you, yeah, you rolled a four. Oh, yeah, so that is eight. Okay. And I want to do insight on the ants. Let's see it. One close. What the fuck? Wrong thing. With guidance. Okay. Uh, what would you like to know? Uh, weaknesses. Uh, it has no weaknesses. Uh, well, it, it will avoid the water. It will not willingly go in the water. Okay. These things don't seem to want to go in the water, guys. I think it's... I don't know if you should kick water on them or just keep blasting them. But thank the forge, and uh, I just wait here. All right, Monty, you're up. Right. So this is going to be a little different, but Amumu, I hope you're angry, and you're only going to be swinging at things for the foreseeable future. Oh, all these motherfuckers spit on me. They're going to die. <laughs> Montgomery focuses and channels a spell he pulled out from his druid book after the rest and decides it's time for Amumu's rage and his body to match. 
Oh Why am I having no! A you are going to be enlarged. Wow, I actually have a macro for this. Check this shit out. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> Word. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm really Ant Man. Get it, Ants? All right, fuck y'all. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, do I need to roll this? I don't need to roll this Constitution saving throw, do I? Uh, uh no, you no. can fail it. Yeah, you you don't have to. All right. I got I got two of me, or like a shadow of me, but whatever. Uh, when it was just showing your previous position, but that was through the wall, so I needed to move you slightly. <laughs> you are so fucked now, you little bastards. Monty, your friend grows to immense size. Uh, he goes up one size, so if he was medium, he is now large. Oh god. He doubles in all dimensions, and his weight is multiplied eightfold. <laughs> you turn a Mumu into a, a literal large killing machine. He is very large, very angry, and very fast. And also takes, also deals 1d4 extra damage. Yeah, there's that <laughs> other benefit. Um, yeah. Monty, so, does that end your round? Uh, I will attempt to incite an ant. Yes, sir. Just have to find the button. What would you like to know? Are they are they beasts or have they been modified to another race? Uh, these are monstrosities. Beautiful. Okay. Raffaella, you're up. Okay. You may want to put it a little bit farther in. Like here, maybe? Somewhere where you don't get our big friend Amumu. Right there is perfect. Wow, okay. Where it is? <laughs> Strategery. All right, we do a little <laughs> fireballing. You oh get my all god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You, you got Chody, come on, tell me you got something for this. Oh, look at those twos. It's so many deck saves. She <laughs> 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 spins her wand of fireball, puts it back in her holster. The ants One, are immediately two, three, incinerated four, as Raffaella cre uh, turns the room to glass with her wand of fireballs. And even the ones that succeed barely survive as they are uh, irreparably damaged by the fireball radius. Uh, okay, Raffaella. Anything else you're going to do with that murder stick? Uh, wait, wait, no. wait. Just Wait, gonna polish I... it and put it back in my pouch. <laughs> to 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 go back to Halo. Kill Tastrophe. <laughs> Raffaella, does that end your murder spree? Um Yeah. Trying to figure out my to get rid of this reticle. Oh I I deleted it. Oh, you did? Okay, yep. good. Amumu, you're up. Uh, you are hasted. You are wounded. You are enlarged. You are not raging. They're still not letting me... Um... There you go. Alright, let me give you the rage buff. One second. Yeah, no, I won't let me target myself with that. So thank you for that. No, no problem. I'll help you out. There you go. Oh my god. He's buffing. This this ant. Ar and you miss. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well that's fine. I'll do it that's again. That's fine. He's got another he's got another swing. 
Jesus Christ, Moo <laughs> Moo. Uh, all right. Bringing the axe down. That'll hit. Hold on one second. I gotta do this. Can I do? Cause I gotta do plus ten plus one d four. I don't yes. think they have that much health, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think they do. But this is good. We need to see. Let's it. see the damage. I want to see him max it out. Ah, uh, it would be plus ten plus one d four, and you can type that out, and it will function. Or Jesus. <laughs> So they killed when he gets to hit another Oh wait, one, right? it gives me an option to cleave nearby target. Uh, you may absolutely cleave. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of nuts! <laughs> it matter, because I killed that fucker. You did? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, he's- Kill oh this my one god. god. <laughs> oh, okay! <laughs> Alright! And- and you I... want to know something? I what? I should be able to kill another. No, you got one more attack? Hey, you yeah, do, do have one more attack. Uh, hold oh, on, Amumu, hey. I do need to oh, stop hey, your yeah. rampage for one moment. Oh. Because uh, these ants do have a <laughs> terrible fungal bloom that they emanate if they are killed with a melee attack. One moment, oh, please. Jesus. Oh, SpongeBob! It's being annoying and not letting me link it to chat because the ant is incapacitated, so I'm gonna just set him to one hit point real quick. Yeah, fuck him. What? What? Oh, I hit, I hit a macro. <laughs> a wet cat. If I okay. could turn back time. Sorry, my ant is apparently having issues. <laughs> A creature that touches the ant or hits it with a melee attack while within five feet of it must succeed on a DC 11 con save or be poisoned till the end of its next turn. I need two of those, Amumu. That, that. <laughs> okay, poison and giga poisoned, apparently. You have disadvantage on your attack rolls and ability checks till the end of your next turn, Amumu. Uh, jokes on them, I already got fucking disadvantage attacks. Uh, you have adv no, 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 you have advantage on attacks. Now oh, you have disadvantage on attacks. So now it's just normal. Well, you know what? Fuck this guy in particular because I got another attack and I move. Well, no, well that, that that one's also dead. So you. He is so dead. You, yeah, this one is dead. So you can move move up to this one. Yeah, that one. And, and, and go punch that one. Yep. That looks totally fair. As a reminder, this attack will be normal, not advantage, because you are poisoned. That'll miss. The poison right. seeps into your veins and you feel yourself weakening, Amumu. Uh, blew my load early. I swear I don't, this normally doesn't happen. It lasts longer. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'd like uh, to roll in sight. Let's see it. What so would you like to know? Um, we're going to go for an attack that I haven't seen yet. Um, they can also bite, doing a, a combination of piercing and acid damage. Okay, well, uh, come on, fellas. I'm done. Next up, one of the remaining ants to the north. They'll skitter up near the raging barbarian. And hopefully we'll inject more poison into his weakened body. Uh, why are you like this? I don't know. My mom asked me the same fucking question. I need to move the blood splatters. It's like, Ant is incapacitated. No, he's, no, he's not. This ant has advantage on his bite because Amumu is, uh, giga <coughs> reckless attacking. That'll hit. Mandibles chomp down for a combination of three piercing and acid damage. Not very impressive. And Amumu's rage brings it down to one. Hot diggy to daffodil. Ah, oh, hey guys. I think there's something around here. I just felt something. Like a little mosquito bite. 
one of the ants steps a little bit further away and will instead spit acid upon the raging barbarian with advantage. Which will hit for four acid. And due to Amumu's rage, half to two. The last ant next to Amumu will... Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking. Uh, oh yes, Amumu. Do you wipe off the acid spit? Do it. Yeah, yeah, do All it. All right, your reaction is used. This next ant will also spit with advantage. Uh, that would be at regular. Uh, Range weapon attack in melee. Oh. But it missed anyway. <clears throat> it did miss. Sindri, top of the round, round two, you're up. The ants okay. begin to descend upon the giant raging barbarian. Okay, I'm going to step over here. I am noticing that this one is weak. I am going to firebolt. Okay. I miss this. Darn it. <laughs> I'll hide back my hidey hole and think about what I've done and <laughs> end my turn. Gim. All right. I saw what happened to him. Cast my sacred flame. All right. Let's see if he makes a deck save. <clears throat> Here it comes. Uh, he fails. Zort. With a laser from the sky, Gim, the satisfying sacred flame pops the thorax of the ant, and green acid goes skittering and soaking into the sand below. I'll do an insight check on that north one. Let's see it. What would you like to know? How healthy that one is. I don't think that one hit by the fireball. Uh, he was not. And his health is quite full. Right. Anything else with your round game? I'm going to move back a little bit and thank the forge. Montgomery, you're up. Ah, wonderful. Uh... I think it's time for me to shimmy on over, see what's left, and I'm trying to think of a good way to handle this. Uh, I think it's time to apify and stand Diddy Kong next to my very <laughs> large angry friend. Oh, what flavor of ape are we turning into today, Monty? Uh, I think we'll just do standard Standard strong monkey. Strong. Strong ape. Okay. Oops, I almost oh. transformed that acid ant. Hold on a second, I'm gonna move this blood splatter. Okay, Do not turn time. ant to monkey. One standard ape, please. Uh, let's see. Keep vision. Should have turned into an ant eater. <laughs> oh, dude, that would have been good. I'm not gonna lie, that was a consideration. <laughs> Monty! You are, I'm, I'm I, like turning you slowly. <laughs> we might be turning at the same time. Giant centipede. Oh, that would have been pretty good too. Uh, Monty, I, do you have vision? Uh, no. <laughs> Why is. I have it keep vision, but it's like... Oh, see, it keeps disabling. Uh, 60 foot dark. There you go. Yay. Okay, uh, so that's my action. So I'm just going to shimmy up a little bit closer here. And... Ooh, ooh. 
stand there tauntingly, a mere, a mere mole in the shadow of the man to my side. <laughs> Very hey, good. You're, you're even smaller. Oh. Uh, Raffaella, you're up. Okay. Two ants in the room are descending on your friends. Ooh, okay. Don't forget to add your proficiency bonus to your damage if you hit. Okay. That'll hit. So when you roll the damage in, uh, you'll just add your proficiency bonus, which is three. Oh, oh my god! You, okay, you maxed out the damage. Uh, <laughs> Buzz zapper. And indeed, Raphael just walks around the corner and immediately zaps another ant to death, bringing her count to... Six? Eight? Six? No, nope. so we'll go nine. seven? Nine. It's, nine. it's gonna be one more, probably. Hopefully. <laughs> it's gonna oh, be no. one more! I love the this would be eight. This would be eight, because it put twice, I guess. Uh, no genie's wrath damage on this one. Only once per turn. Doesn't matter. <laughs> that don't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Still rolls Catch a nine. Up. Apparently, oh, the ant survives. survives. Close, Raffi. Okay, Overconfidence is him. a slow and insidious killer. I said probably. <laughs> Let's see it. Hmm. Uh, that's not high enough. Okay, I'm gonna move back. I'm done. A moo moo. Yeah. Uh, cool. I just noticed something on my main page that I popped out under senses language damage immunities poison. Uh, you are immune to poison, immune to poison damage, but not the poisoned condition. They are different. Cool. Just wanted to make sure I understand my character. All right. Well, fuck this guy, cause I gotta clean him up after Raffy for literally making us I would, all look like chumps. I wouldn't use Great Weapon Master. Just go ahead and hit this dude. Just take the damn thing. Yeah. But still reckless because then you roll it straight. That'll hit. With 1d4. I think that 1d4 is getting added, though. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I think it is. Oh, it is. Yeah, you added it twice. Oops. That's oh, totally it's... fine, though. More than enough to kill the ant as the raging barbarian squishes the last remaining ant in the cave. For a moment, all you can hear is the sound of the stream, as the combat with the acid ants has ended. I'm removing the poison from him. And Mumu, you immediately feel better as the powers of the forge heal you. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I'll take out my undead lantern. Uh, it is glowing. All right, I'm going to start burning all these mushrooms with a stick of flame. <clears throat> I will help from a distance by shooting them with fireball. What are the rest of you doing? Any loot or anything that might be of interest in here? Do you ex begin to examine the corpses of the ants? Um, I'm afraid to touch them because of all that acid, so... <laughs> I don't know, is there like a stick? Ooh, can I grab this pickaxe over here and just, you know, kind of poke around? Sure. 
I'm going to remove your rage real quick. Muscle. Uh, am I now normal people size or am I still sexy hunky hunk? Yeah, you're, you're, you're back. Ah, oh, thank God. Hmm, <laughs> one moment. And you do lose a turn. Oh, because of haste? Yeah. Yeep. Oh no, there's an error in my macro syntax. Uh, uh oh. Uh, okay, I'll fix that later. Uh, Mumu, I have to delete you for a moment. <laughs> Typical. Bye. Just kidding, he's back. No, he's still big! He saw the enlarged buff on him. Watch yeah. Boop. Woo! <sighs> Moo Moo, for a moment you are stunned, or excuse me, the rage wears off, and you found, find yourself overcome with exhaustion. Whoa. I blacked out there. What happened, fellas? Did we win? <laughs> Your friends are quickly and efficiently putting the rest of the mushrooms to the torch, and the light quickly... <sighs> Yeah, we, we, we did good. All right. I think we're getting closer to Sibyl. Yeah. I like would a agree. Well, we're kind of in an area here. Like, I need some heals, fellas. Well, you have a healing pot. I know I'm what trying I'm to save my spells for the combat. Yeah, I know. All right. I was going to save it for combat, too. I guess I'll use it. The mushrooms are no more burnt by various magics. The only thing remaining is small piles of ash. Amumu chugs a healing pot. Don't forget to target yourself and then he hit that healing button. I wanna, uh... It's still not letting me target myself. Uh, mouse over yourself and hit T. That'll do it. Alright. You gain eight hit points as you taste the familiar strawberry flavor preserved by the cool earth. Are these ah. mushrooms up here glowing too? Fine vintage. Are they down in the hallway up here? Yeah. They are. So my lantern's glowing again? Uh, as you step closer to this hallway, it would. No distance, let's see. Yes, yes, it would. More mushrooms up here. I think if I light these on fire, though, we might let somebody know we're coming. But they probably already know we're coming, since we blew up half a mine shaft, killed all the ants and their screeches, burned this whole area. What do you guys think? Keep burning mushrooms? Uh, I think it's an idea. Yeah, why not? Let me move forward a little bit and just keep burning some mushrooms. Alright. The mushroom down the hall once again falls to your sacred flame. Psst, and the light is extinguished. The cave turns slightly to the left, and more of those knoll ear mushrooms line the walls. Some big mushrooms over here, guys. Right. I want to burn those too. With a hiss and a sizzle, their light fades. Sibbo's got to know we're coming. Let's keep burning our way through this. You with me, Sindri? Yep, I'm with you. Can I roll a nature or I guess it would maybe be survival check to see if this mine shaft might go back to the one where Amumu and I got wrapped by the falling debris and we had to squeeze through that. 
Uh, you can make me an investigation check, sure. Would that be investigation or survival to know my location? Uh, I will let you choose. Okay. I uh, will choose the better one. I just didn't want to... Yeah. No, absolutely. The um, areas do look the same, but this one is structurally more sound. The ceiling is made out of uh, solid rock that has been blasted through with more efficiency. Okay, so I don't think this is connected. Uh, hold on just a moment. Let me confirm or not. I just have a I have a sneaking suspicion, and I, I think my character might pick up on it. That's why I'm just trying to... Uh, this tunnel does connect to the other tunnel you were coming in from, from the north. So okay. if you continued from the north, you would have also ended up here. Okay. As a very good survival check, I will give you that. Uh, the mushrooms ahead, Sindri, provide you a little bit of vision into the room beyond. You can see that it opens up to a much larger chamber. However, these purple mushrooms at the end of the hallway towards the left are somewhat stacked up on top of each other, but they provide vision while providing adequate cover. Okay, so it this... This is looking like it opens up into a bigger room. Mm-hmm. Um, we should keep going, guys. Oh, and there's uh, another branch. Are these mushroom... Am I glowing green again? Uh, you... are glowing green again. It faded for a moment and then came back. Alright, there's more undead. Do I see... Is it coming from those mu big mushrooms ahead of us? Uh, it is not. These ones look more... Natural. Um, Can I do like they, a nature check to see what they are? Sure. Uh, guys, 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 guys. Oh. Back up. Uh, these are star shrooms. They are a naturally occurring shroom that provide a uh, lovely, soft, phosphorescent blue light. Sometimes. You can see patterns of the stars in their caps. They tend to grow very large and very strong and host many curious insects within their um, sprawling caps. Um, they are harmless and naturally occurring. These mushrooms just seem to glow. I, don't I, I hold up my hand. Gimp, gimp, gimp. What's up? I whisper into everybody's mind. Just beyond those mushrooms is Siba. Um, what do we do? Gimp. Uh, but I, I whisper everyone fall back just a bit, guys. Just so we quietly. So, Sibba's up ahead. Is she alone? Mm. Um, I, Sindri, I, let me describe the scene that you saw as you peeked into the room. Um, Sibba was standing before a very large hole in the earth. On top of the hole, it shimmered like a watery, reflective surface. It seemed to reflect any of the uh, remaining light in the area. It almost swirled like a pool of mercury, and below it was the vague form of larger mushrooms. Sibba herself was standing on an outcropping, her hands splayed over this liquid mercury or liquid silver, whatever you might want to refer it to as. Nothing was stirring within this mirror-like pool, except for the vision of the mushrooms that lay under its surface. Okay, so I revealed to my friends what I saw. Um, 
I am going to instantly burn a second level spell slot to convert to sorcery points. Okay. And I am then going to burn my sorcery point to give myself a another third level spell. Okay. Very good. What do the rest of you do? Alright, so my is Sibba undead? That's one thing I'm thinking um, about. Because my lantern's still glowing green. It I is. Think we would, could sneak on her. Would I have been able to see that when I peek? If she might be undead? Uh, judging by her ratty staff, um, her moth-eaten clothes, and the amount of filth caked on her, the old knoll witch was, uh, well, you couldn't really tell if she was alive or dead. Not at that distance, and not briefly. You think we could sneak up on her? She's not looking at us, right? Um, if she's not looking at us, we could burn this spell. We could burn this scroll. And we would be invisible to her. Well, we could try it and we'll get closer to her, because we're going to need to get closer to get to her. Uh, e. Anything a target is wearing, the spell ends for all targets if one attacks or can spell. Now, question on that, Nadina. Mm -hmm. It's it's any spell or a spell that targets. Can you link it? Uh, well, it just says if a spell ends for all targets, if one attacks or casts a spell, it's like invisibility, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um. So we could use that to get in. I think we need to get in range and let Raffi Blaster off to get. I I like that idea. We also could get in position. I'll trigger it by casting haste on a Mumu. A Mumu just swings at her right after, mm -hmm. and then Raffi can also target her, and we'll hit like all three will go off at once. All right, if we can do that, let's do it. Okay, I low swaggins. Do see the time? Do we just want to do this entire battle? We. Uh, so I was going to propose that, um, considering the time, I do think it would be best if we started this uh, next week. I won't, I won't be here next week. Okay, that's fine. We can do it the week after. Um, I do suggest that all of you be here, wherever, uh, however you want to coordinate this for your final battle with Sibba. So um, I, I wouldn't suggest going in with only four people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're all gonna go in. Oh yeah. <laughs> I do want you all here, so if next week isn't good, then we will schedule accordingly. Why won't you be here, Mumu? Uh going to brother in law's wedding in California. Why did you have to get married? Like what the uh, hell? I dude, I don't even know the dude that well. It's Sarah's half brother. I don't fuck. <laughs> you guys got a B B E G to kill, man. Yeah. Like, this is more important than a wedding. Oh, I agree, man. I, I, the amount of money I had to spend out on a fucking flight out to California. I don't want to go out to Cali. Cali sucks. California is a beautiful right. place, but it's a golden turd. Yeah. yeah. Just... Well, hold on. I am double checking. Okay. Um, yeah, next Friday. Now, if we moved it to, like, the Thursday, you know, I could do that. Oh. Uh... Thursday I, night? We don't. Oh, no, we raid. I, yeah, we raid on Thursday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, all yeah. right. Yeah. Next week, there's no I raid. Mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, 
We wouldn't raid except Stogs wants to try some computer learning thing. All right, hey, hey, it's over the option. AI the is, is gonna play my character. Yeah. So um, I I have annual training, my two weeks. You know the National Guard guys do, even though I'm full time. Uh, but however, I will be back, so I might be just like twenty minutes late on the twelfth, but I should be able to come because I'll be at ATs and I'll be coming home that night. Or okay, we could not, just start a little. We could start later if it works for people. And I could stay later, or I can probably spend the night in my office and just fucking uh, bring my laptop and ready to roll, like I did, you know, going on vacation. So the twelfth should be totally good for me. Well, feel free and coordinate in Discord um, if Got there's it. anything else or any uh, other times that you want to coordinate. I'm usually relatively flexible, except for Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, but for now. We will leave your uh, preparation with your battle with Sibba. Um, you can prepare a little bit on Discord, but uh, I suggest you keep most of it in game. Uh, Monty is a giant ape. Amumu has returned to normal <laughs> Goliath proportions. Let's see. Raffaella still has one to fireball charges. Looks like everybody is pretty much good to go. So whenever you coordinate a day, we'll do our great battle with Sibba and find out all the secrets you are going to uncover. Sound good? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Oh, yeah. Are there any cantrips that heal, like, later on? No. Yeah, I can't. Can't think of any. Uh, well, technically, good bear. Well, no, good bear is a first level spell. Yeah. No. I think that because you can just cast cantrips whenever. So. Yeah, that would be... Yeah, I know. Like something weak or something. Because I mean, I have spare the dying. Even if you could heal for one hit point, you could just be like, Bing, 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 Bing. What? The, yeah. What they? What you could do? If you're feeling generous and you want to make a custom spell, make like a 10 minute casting cantrip oh, that Adina. heals people. Hmm. I wanted to bring this up because I was talking to Sindri about this earlier. When mm -hmm. I was making my character original, I thought scale mail was stronger than chain mail, but I should have chosen chain mail. I don't know if it's too late to change that or I change that after this. Oh, yeah, it's giga too late to change that. Yeah, I didn't know. I have a chain shirt in my bag. Or you could change your clothes if you have a chain shirt in your bags. So how much? Let's see, scale mail is what? Uh, scale 14 mail is fourteen AC. Decks. Yep. My chain decks. Chain, chain shirt is thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. No. But don't you have a minus to decks? Yeah. Uh, yeah. you also have a ring of protection that you haven't um. That you're not wearing? Yeah, why am I not wearing? Uh, you, you know, here, I'll equip it to you. Okay. Um, so you'll have a 16 AC with that. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get you, like, sorted out with, because once you get chain mail, you'll pop up to a 19. Yeah. And that should be easy to get, at least. Um, yeah, I so, have ideas. <laughs> good, good. You're going to need them. There's just one problem. What's what? that? Oh, I did, it's a completely personal issue. I don't have uh, <laughs> sorcery points. It's a completely <laughs> personal issue now. Ah, yeah, that is that is a problem. Not having enough magic to magic. But I did get, I did have enough that I do have a use of counterspell and I do have a use of haste. <laughs> because Smart. I know she's a wizard and I know <laughs> she probably is counterspell because you know I'm, you know, you know me, so <laughs> you're gonna put him on counterspell. <laughs> why, why would I do something like that? That that's metagaming, but not metagaming because I know she's a wizard, so I know I'd be prepared against magic 
things. But then out of game, I'm like, I know Nadina is going to be like, bruh, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there will be a, a counter spell. Uh, that's, that's probably a fair assessment. Uh, for now, we will return you all to our <gasps> glorious loading screen. Yay. Thank you all for playing with me today. I greatly appreciate it. And we will finish this up when our schedules and moons align. Uh, the battle with Sibba will be very arduous, Legendary. so prepare accordingly. Thank you guys, and uh, I will see you on Discord. Y'all. Yeah. Yes. All right, everybody. That's Have a good, good night. Night, everyone. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. That is it for Arctis today. <gasps> Woo! Woo! Thanks for joining us and the Reflection crew. Greatly appreciate it. Catch our VODs over on YouTube at ArctisDD. You can watch us live on Twitch. And you can catch our, <clears throat> excuse me, shorts and funny moments over on TikTok and over on Twitter at Play Arctis. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out in chat. These guys are wrapping up the uh, campaign and they will see just what Sibba the Knoll has in store for them. Hopefully the week after or next week. But thank you for being here. Greatly appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time.